Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for this seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 31 of our trek and it's hard to believe that it's been a month already since we launched Wisdom Trek. It's been both challenging and exciting to create Wisdom Trek and to know that the podcast has been downloaded nearly 8,000 times in the first 30 days. I thank you so much for your support and request that you keep promoting Wisdom Trek so that we will grow boldly where few have chosen to grow before. Our purpose each day is to gain wisdom and insight which will help us to create a living legacy. Today we are recording our podcast from the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. We have had the privilege of observing fairly young twin fawns in our yard for the past couple days. The deer seem to become less afraid each year. These two beautiful fawns have stayed fairly close to our house bedding down in our yard and I was getting a bit concerned that maybe something had happened to their mama. But towards dinner time tonight, she came sauntering through the yard herself, and after the little bonds had nursed a bit, the three of them headed into the small wooded area behind our house. We all need to take time to be thankful for the little joys of life. If you'd like to see the picture of these bonds, check out our journal entry for today on wisdom-trek.com. As we come to the end of another very busy day, I am thankful for all the experiences and opportunities that God has weaved into my life. Yes, they're overwhelming at times. Okay, well, they're overwhelming most of the time. But it's through these challenging times and daily life that we gain and grow in wisdom. Wisdom is obtained through years of proper thinking and experience. And that is why today's podcast is titled, Think and Grow Wise. As we continue on our trek, consider this. To become a wise person, you need to gain accurate, perceptive insights into human behavior and understand how this is integrated into everyday situations. We need to put into practice what Christ's half-brother James wrote in his letter in chapter 1, verses 19 and 20, and he put it this way, Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. You need to be observers of human nature, a master psychologist with excellent emotional intelligence. You have to be willing to learn from real-life experiences, not from academic studies. This may mean that you need to keep what you know to yourself, but be willing to share what you know to certain individuals that are ready to think and learn. You need to have discernment and give advice to open-minded learners. If you desire to become wise, you will learn the talent of asking questions that lead to new understanding. This will bring a consciousness to yourself to communicate what you know when the situation is right and with those who are willing to learn. If you are to become wise, you need to think about what you do and don't do. You need to have a strong inner frame of reference built on your integrity for your actions and statements. You need to learn to read situations well and understand others accurately, to see through the obvious and trust your intuition. You will need to think through life's issues and gain a sense of hidden motives behind the actions of others. This will allow you to become less vulnerable to cons, threats, criticisms, and manipulators. If you are able to learn this trait, then you can handle the pressure and threats with humor. You'll be able to remain stable and sustain self-control in times of turmoil. You will desire and expect things to turn out well. This will allow you to feel optimistic and self-confident in coping with rough situations. A valuable way to understand this wisdom is to define what wisdom is not. So what is the opposite of wisdom? Well, here are eight ways that show a lack of wisdom. One who speaks or acts in stupid ways and then blame others for what has happened. One who speaks or acts in ways that causes difficulties for people or groups important to you. A person who speaks or acts in ways that lead to unnecessary loss. A person who does not learn from mistakes and makes the same mistakes over and over again. A person who is out of touch with what is really happening. A person who is bitter about the past and cynical about the future. A person outspoken about what others are doing wrong. And finally, number eight, a person who acts contrary to one's stated values and goals, and they don't know it. So how do we acquire wisdom? Well, here are four practical and yet simple ways. Number one, develop a lifelong childlike curiosity and a playful spirit. Number two, be happy rather than hostile, no matter how badly life has treated you. Number three, ask questions, explore, desire to know how things work. And number four, learn valuable lessons from rough experiences. Gaining wisdom can be defined in a three-part process. Number one, gaining wisdom, which is the raw data, the kind of data that you find in books, in research, and exploring the Internet. Number two, knowledge through thinking is knowing how to apply the information that you've gathered in point number one. And finally, number three, 
Wisdom is knowing when and understanding what circumstances the information and the knowledge are appropriate or useful or even true, and when and how and even whether to apply that knowledge that you have gained. So you might think of it this way. Wisdom is bringing all of your knowledge and skill to a situation and to bring it into a successful conclusion. I believe that personal wisdom begins with knowing who and whose we are. This will allow you to live by a value system consistent with that understanding in seeing and appreciating the unique gifts that God has given us. These are our personality traits, the opportunities, and the abilities to impact the lives of others. Appreciation is an integral part of wisdom, for we know that wisdom does not come to us naturally. It must be cultivated and nurtured through proper thinking. And if you desire a blueprint for becoming wise, one of the best ways is to study the book of Proverbs in the Bible. In chapter 1, it lays out a plan in verses 2 through 7. And the plan is this. Speaking of Proverbs, their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them to understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them to do what is right, just, and fair. These Proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these Proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance. By exploring the meanings of these Proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles, fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. Since this podcast is originally scheduled to air on July 1st, I challenge you during the month of July to read a chapter in Proverbs that corresponds with each day of the month. And by July 31st, you will be wiser. Think and grow wise. It's worth every moment. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek on iTunes, Stitcher, or on wisdom-trek.com. And tomorrow we will learn how living intentionally will bring significance to your life. So please check into our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, creating a legacy. And if you enjoy this daily dose of wisdom, I encourage you to help us out in the following four ways. Leave us feedback about the podcast on wisdom-trek.com. Please subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher so that the podcast will be downloaded to you automatically each day. Number three, leave us a rating on iTunes and Stitcher. This will help us to know how we're doing. And number four, which is very important, to spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. I thank you so much for your support. The journal from this podcast today, which has pictures and other insights, can be found on wisdom-trek.com. We also have wisdom nuggets and free resources. And as we take this trek together, let us always remember to live abundantly or fully, to love unconditionally, to listen intentionally, to learn continuously, to lend to others generously, to lead with integrity, and to leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day. See you tomorrow.